Hi, this is Tom from Gladden, and I'm quickly going to show you how to play Paper Apps Galaxy today. It's the third game in our Paper Apps series after Dungeon and Golf, and while there are some similarities, there's a lot of new stuff and differences that we'll get into now. You can play with a pencil and a d6, or our pencil dice, which is a pencil and a d6. That's what I'll be using. So let's take a look at a sample level here. This is the layout of the level. This is your ship. You always start at the bottom. Down here are pre-rolled values for moving around the level, so we'll use those. Um, here's your missiles, your shields, and then your mission. So kill four enemies, get three credits. So let's go ahead and start. Our first value here is four, so I'll start by crossing that out. And then I'll look at some of the options here. So one, two, three, four. That could get me to a wormhole, which could warp me up here in the level. One, two, three, four could get me over here. One, two, three, four could get me over here. I'm thinking that it could be interesting to get up here and get into the mix a little bit with a bunch of enemies around there. And wormholes are just fun. So one, two, three, four. So my new location is on this wormhole. If I had kept going, then I would keep going in the same direction. But I'm on this wormhole up here. And, but I noticed that I did pass within the range of the ship. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's pretty far. This ship, now I roll for this ship to see whether it hit me or not, this enemy ship. It needs to roll a six though to hit me. And it rolled a one, so that's not a hit. I don't lose a shield. And now I'm up here. My next value is one. So I see that if I move one to the right, that puts me right next to the ship. So I. Since I'm one away, I would need to roll a one or higher to hit it, but because no matter what, I'll roll a one, it's an automatic hit. So I'll cross out one of my missiles here, and I'll put a big X on that, and I even like to put a check mark here so I can keep track of how many enemies I've gotten. So one down, <clears throat> and I can always pick up more shields and missiles throughout the level. I can also pick up credits if I fly over them. So let's see, my next value, I used this one, my next value is another four. So since this ship is dead, I can actually travel through it. So maybe I'll do that one, two, three, four, and that gets me up here in good firing range. But I did pass through the range of this enemy ship, one, two, two spaces away. So I'm going to need to roll for that ship. If it rolls a two or higher, it hit me. It rolled a two, so I lose a shield. You lose the level if you're hit and you have zero shields left. So now I'm in position to fire at him from two spaces away. So I'm going to use a missile first and then roll to see if it's a hit. Six. So that's a hit, and I've already got two down. I won't go through the whole thing for the sake of time, but um, once I've killed four enemies, then that um, mission is a success. I get three credits that I can spend to upgrade my ship or earn rankings in the game. A few other things to be aware of are these are mines. If you pass within one space of a mine, um, it explodes. You exit out and you lose a shield. You can shoot mines to detonate them from a distance. You can also shoot asteroids to get them out of your way. And I think that, oh, and these are moons. So asteroids are the smaller ones. The big ones are moons, and you just they're just there to add some variety to the layout of the level. You can't shoot them or blow them up. You just have to fly around them. So I would continue. I forgot to cross this off. <clears throat> I would continue going around the level and, and trying to avoid getting hit while hitting the enemy ships until I've reached my mission. <clears throat> and... When you hit a question mark, you see a few question marks along here on your flight computer. That's this row of numbers. That's a chance for you to roll your d6 to see how far you move so that the level isn't completely predictable. If there are values you don't want to use, you can skip them over, but you do have to cross them out. And be aware that if you've crossed out all of these values along the bottom and have not accomplished your mission by that last turn, then you run out of fuel, and that's another way to lose that sector. But it's okay to lose. Um, that's part of the game. I'll show you that at the 
beginning of the game, there is a, well, there's a lot of rules, and then there's, this is your map. So once you've completed a sector, you cross it off, and then you can go to any other sector that's connected to one that you've completed, whether you won or lost. If you do lose, you just mark a tally of, oh, I lost a ship, and you just move on, keep playing. So that's a quick overview of Paper Apps Galaxy, and I hope you'll grab a copy and really enjoy it. Thank you.